Okay, maybe we don't have this, but we have this. At least it's something, or not? Yo, what up people, this is your boy Jason J.K. Center, we are back with another video. And for today's video, we have the Jordan 1 Meat Igloo and the Jordan 1 Meat Arctic Orange. But to me, this is the meat version of the Rush Pink. But before we go into the shoes, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like any content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every single day, guys. Also go and follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Kicks. And now, let's begin this review. These are the most recent release for the Jordan 1 Meat lineup. The Igloo Jordan 1 Meat and the Rush Pink Jordan 1 Meat or Tropical Orange as they call them officially. But these two shoes, these Jordan 1 Meats, oh yes, they're beautiful. These Jordan 1s are obviously the mid version of these two sneakers and I don't have a problem with it. If you have been following this channel long enough, you know that I have no problem with Jordan 1 Meats. Actually, I like them. Not every Jordan 1 Meat, but there's a lot of Jordan 1 Meats that I really, really like. I don't have to wait for a superstar to wear a sneaker so I can go after it or wait for a collab or something. I just like what I like. And if you like this, don't let the haters take you away from it. These two pair of shoes are fantastic, fantastic. They look super, super good. My only problem with this two is the same problem that I have with most of the Jordan 1 meets. The quality. Even though the quality in this one is a little better than the regular that we have at the Jordan 1 meet, it's not the same quality that we're going to have in a Jordan 1 high. Of course it's not, but at least for the Jordan 1 meet, this one does the job perfectly. I was hunting these two sneakers because many of my followers were asking me to do a review on these two shoes and here I have it. And not only am I gonna do this review, but I'm also gonna be doing a lace swap video on these two shoes because I have some good laces that I think I can play with. But yeah, guys, let me tell you, the quality on these two shoes is basically the same the color blocking is the same. The only difference is obviously the colors that they use. This igloo and the rush pink, that, that's the color that I'm seeing in the shoe, but they call them Arctic Orange. To me, these are a beautiful, beautiful pair of meats. If you do a custom on these two shoes, I think they will look better. Like painting the eyelids here in black, it will look even better. But Nike and Jordan Brown prefer going this way to make them look a little different from the high top version of these two shoes. All the different that we're gonna find in this two is that this one has the auto machine the tropical orange color in this shoe and this one has the auto in black which I don't really mind because this one is not gonna get as dirty as this one other than that they both have the black toe color blocking in the tone tag they're gonna have the respective colors matching the air jumpman both have black wings logos and white ankle area the sock liner in both of the shoe is black with the jumpman inside in the respective colors. The midsole in both sneakers is white as you can see. The tongue comes in black for both sneakers which I think is really dope. But I really think both sneakers are super super nice. And to give you another perspective of the shoe, let's take a look at how they look on feet. These two sneakers, they both look super good on feet. We are in the summer and they both have summer colors. Whatever you go with them, these are definitely a good option to rock this summer. Both with the black toe color blocking, which you already know is my favorite color blocking in the Jordan 1 lineup. But having the reference of the Igloo Jordan ones and the Ross Pink Jordan ones, I think it's super dope having this option for people who can't afford the crazy resale prices that those sneakers has beautiful pair in my opinion i really really like him if i have to pick only one shoe i think i would go with this one 
I mean, the color I think goes more with my personality, but this one is super, super nice too. And I'm gonna stay with both of my collection. But I wanna know for you, which one is the best? Which one is more beautiful? I really like both, but for me, this one goes better for my style. The color is just beautiful and I think it goes better with me. But guys, here you have them. Stay tuned for the lace swap video that will be dropping in a few days. Lace swap video for both sneakers. Let's see how they look with different laces. So if you wanna see that video guys, remember subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up because that really helped me so much with the YouTube algorithm. Also guys, activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every single day. Also guys, follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Kicks. Until the next one, goodbye.